Hello, this is Robert McMahon, and I just watched the first two episodes of Chucky, which is on the Sci-Fi Network in USA. And if you watch the Charles played movies and all the other Chucky movies, except for the reboot that came out a few years back, it basically follows it and makes references to those movies. Uh, for example, in episode two, it may uh, reference to Chucky's son from The Seed of Chucky, which I did watch The Seed of Chucky a long time ago, when like when it first came out. And to me, that wasn't a um, horror movie per se. It seemed almost like a parody, cracking jokes and everything else. Um... But uh, one, th one spoiler from the first episode, he's tr he tries to like go online, sell Chucky a vintage doll, and someone contacts him, a mystery caller, definitely a male's voice, asks he questions about the doll, like what's the doll's name and everything else, and warns the main character of the series to be careful. In my opinion, that mystery caller, I think it's Andy. Uh, judging by like the previous incarnations of Chucky, like especially from the first and second Child's Play movie, this version of Chucky is very toned down. He's not on like a kill killer spree, spree like he was in those previous movies. And it don't seem like uh, he's trying to take over anyone's body. But he is, it seems like he's trying to help Jake Wheeler, which is the main character, the kid of this series, who's a high school student, um, in a somewhat sick and twisted way. Um, and it seemed like at the beginning of the series, Chucky was having trouble moving and everything because it took a while for him to move his hand and everything. And Jake, when he got it, he was really going to take Chuck, tear up the doll and like take the head off for a sculpture art project. But he was having trouble. Uh, but um, yeah, um, his father was somewhat of abusive and Chucky basically killed his father, make it look like an accident. Uh, yeah, so I think there's something more about this, a reason why he is keeping Jake alive. Maybe he found a way to put his show so in Jake's body, but he has to do a few other things first, who knows. But, but yeah, like I said, that mystery Carter, I really, really think it's Andy from the first couple of uh, movies and from, and everything. Uh, because yeah, if he was traumatized and this Dao affected his life like it did, he might be keeping tabs on the internet for clues like good guy Dao and everything else. Um, yeah, this, this show has an interesting cast of characters and some people, from the movies is returning, like one of the actors that played Andy, Jennifer Tilly. I'm hoping his son, like a version of his son comes and from the Seed of Chucky, um, because that would be an interesting dynamic. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, like I said, this uh, officer investigating and the officer, I think she knows more than what she's laying on. Because Chucky, he didn't kill someone, but he had like a Hello Kitty mask on in episode two and gave a lady a apple with a metal uh, yeah, piece in it. And then later on, uh, the officer was there asking about the Crescents and was basically taking out a, a description of Chucky. So maybe, so who knows, maybe years ago she knew Andy or something. 
Yeah, but um, I'm game. I'm yeah. I think this was an awesome idea. Idea. The reboot that came out that changed uh, Chucky's story, made him like an AI robot. That wasn't so good and everything. I'm glad they basically undid that and did this movie instead. I mean, this TV series instead. It's unknown if it's going to get us like a season two or anything, anything like that. Uh, for right now, the season one is only 10 episodes. So it's kind of a wait and see. But I'm very confident if for, especially since there's a lot of people who are fans of the Child Play series, the Chucky series or what. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for this and everything. And, um, yeah, this is a great way to bring back this character. Uh, one thing about this small town this Chucky is in now is basically the same town that he grew up in before he became a doll. Like, uh, there's flashbacks to him when he was a child and his mother and everything. So I think... We're going to learn a lot, lot more about Chucky before he became the killer doll that everyone knows. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I would love to see where all these different subplots go and combine. And um, yeah, and I and like I said, just by the first two episodes. I say there's about 80% chance of we getting us getting like a season two or something. Um, yeah, but after watching the first two episodes, I'm definitely going to go look up uh, The Cult of Chucky and watch that because this, of course, takes place right after the movie The Cult of Chucky. And um, yeah, so if you guys have cable... Just uh, look, just watch it on the Sci-Fi Channel or USA, or download the NBC app, where you can also watch the first couple of episodes. And then episode number three will be out October twenty-six. And um, yeah, so I yeah, I'm hoping the mystery caller reveals themselves by episode three or episode four and like i said one of the actors that plays and he's supposed to be appearing on the show very very soon and i hope he reveals himself as the mystery caller yeah but if jennifer chili's coming back and as the same person as he was in like this bride of chucky and a cedar chucky um, I don't remember how she got back to human form, but I re remember at the end of like the see Chucky, she was in human form, and I believe the son was somehow in human form. So, like, I'm hoping when she comes back, they have an actor playing their kid and and everything. My favorite scene is definitely so far. It's definitely from. Episode number two, where Chucky and the little girl is sitting at a game console, playing a Slasa game, and just talking about uh, killing and everything. I thought I thought that was a new side of Chucky, and I would just love to see where that goes. And I'm just yeah, I'm very excited for the series. So until uh, next time, this is Robert McMurr over now and stay tuned for more reviews and more videos as they come out.